up everyone, it's Chrissy of DA King Shore on the Easel with a little filler vlog thing. Which is partly just like an update thing and partly stuff that Artemino voted on because I'm starting to use Artemino more. And don't worry, this isn't sponsored. This is just me trying to integrate my other social media. So as you can see, I got my editing software up. I have switched over to using Lightworks. It's free, at least this version's free. It's handling things a lot better than Mavavi did, so that's good, but I can't seem to figure out how to get the the mic settings done, so I ended up... I originally recorded the, the narration for a video that I want to put up with my headset mic. Usually that's fine, but it was loud AF and popping like crazy. So I was like, screw it, I'll just record using the webcam mic. And um, here's how that sounds. Hey everyone, this is Christina D, aka Short and the Easel, with a speed painting instead of a speed drawing. And this time we're actually using the webcam mic because... Yeah, I sound like I'm talking into a can, but that's the best one I could get so far. Unless I wanna try I mean, I could try the lapel mic, but I'm getting tired of re-recording this. It's like, this is supposed to be like a fun little sort of Ross Draws inspired video. So, little sneak peek, there's my face. Because, I mean, I'll explain in the video, but to make a long story short, you know, it's actually a very simple story. I took a selfie, thought I looked like the Joker, and thought, you know what, I should pull the Ross Draws. So I did. So, as I said, this is gonna be a really crappy sounding video. So when this does go up, expect it not to be the best. But, as I also said, this is also a Art Amino inspired video because I put up a poll on my Art Amino, which I will have linked below in the description, or at least I'll have my Art Amino name linked below. And granted, the poll is still somewhat going, but there is a clear winner, so I'm going to talk about my favorite art supplies. So, but let's start with the basics first. Let's start with the ones I started out with, colored pencils. I am a sucker for Crayola. I love how pigmented Crayola is. Crayola, Crayola R? Crayola is R? I don't know which would be the right word there because I can't English and I can't open this with one hand. But here is my tin of other color pencils. There you go. My collection from over the years. Isn't it beautiful? This is like a mishmash of I don't know how many different types of color pencils. There's Crayola. There's some weird ones that have Nicole on them. You know my name's not Nicole. Some ones I've sharpened with an exacto because the sharpener stopped working with it. Got double-sided <laughs> pencils because they broke, so I figured why waste them. I've got some, I know they're in here. Now I've got some of those wordless color pencils in here that I got a while ago. Pretty sure I have some rose art ones in here. Oh, I've got some. Some good old, let's see, some Derwent color pencils. Let's see what else have I got in here. One of those weird Nicole ones. You know, this is just like a mishmash of different color pencils. Then, of course, I've got the box of color pencils. And I know I have my watercolor pencils, but. Not a big fan of watercolor pencils. Then moving these aside, we got, speaking of watercolor, my watercolors because I love watercolor. It's a great way to calm, it's a great way to cool down. It really calms me down. And these are just a cheap set that I got at Michael's. I've used them plenty of times before. I think they're perfectly fine. They could be more pigmented, but I mean, they're cheap. I think they're fine. 
They, they work for me. Granted, I may have gotten some of the caps stuck. Because these are, as you can see, these are like the, the tubes. these for a good couple of years. I've actually had these since, I want to say 2011? Yeah, 2011-ish, I think. I'm trying to think, when did Jersey Boys come out? Because I did a whole, like, I'm trying to remember, 18 by 24, I think? I'm trying to remember, what was the size of that? I, I have watercolor, like, mixed media sketch pads, like one of those huge ones. And I did a Jersey Boys painting is in the basement actually and that was actually in my last room but I love watercolor I'm starting to experiment with gouache but not quite sure how I feel about it yet still got a lot of work with that one and this is my main pencil case this has the stuff I use the most even though I think two of the things are in here yeah I think two of them are in are they or did I put them I think I might have put them back but you know Got my main pencil case. I love these types of pencil cases. In here we've got seam ripper, very useful. A multi-use, multi-purpose keychain I got from a wedding, or was it? I think it was a wedding, yeah. But it's got a chisel and and an iPhone and the bottle opener will say happy face. I like that. Then my all-time favorite. And the best purchase I have ever made, a mini razor blade. It's come in handy with a lot of packaging and artwork. And I think that's it for in there. Yeah, that's it for in there. And then in the main part, we've got my supplies. My trusty, what is this, 2H or H? Yeah, it's just H. I love, I'm, I love how I'm looking at it off screen. You can't even see what it is. This is a Prismacolor one. I have a ton of different drawing pencils, but I usually like to use either an H or a 2H to sketch. Got my personal favorite. It's just a Tombow dual-ended. One side is the little, I want to do this with one hand, it's not easy. Hang on, let, let me get my, let me get my phone stand out because I can't do this with one hand. Okay, hang on. Okay, I got this. Blocking you guys for a sec. There you go. So we've got this end, which has the sort of bullet tip, if I can get it to focus. There you go. It's got the little bullet tip. It's actually kind of like a rubberized tip, too, which I really, really like. And the other side is the brush tip, which isn't even in frame. Yeah, I really like this this pen. It has awesome pigment. It's nice and dark. I love it. And then we've got my trusty, trusty Stabler eraser. I love these. These are great for small areas. And actually, speaking of erasers, right on top of the drawers on my desk, I got this lovely thing that I've had for a while. And I've carved off these spots that wouldn't erase away. Also, I just get bored and carve things off. And speaking of favorite supplies, this was also on top of my desk. I love the Faber-Castell sharpeners. It's like these things, I used them in school a lot. I love them so much. They've got different sharpeners. I, oddly enough, use mostly the universal sharpeners, but I love that one so, so much. And let's see, what else have we got in the pencil case? We got my Jelly Roll gel pen. Got some fine liners. Let's take that out. Ooh. An aquash ink pen. It gets a nice dark gray. A Sharpie liner. A Five Nights at Freddy's Foxy pen, because I just like this pen. It's one of my favorites. A dorky thing to like, but I like it. A white chalk pen. No chalk. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm gonna say chalk marker. It's a chalk marker. And let's see. Got two, two more liners. Got the one in three for the 
micron. Got a Copic liner in here. This is the one. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I've got another. Oh, I got another drawing pencil in here. Let's see which one this is. This is a 2B. <laughs> to be or not to be. Oh, these I need to get more of because I loved these pens. These are actually what I used in the. These are my favorite ones to use for inking my my character keychains, or as I like to call them, the badges. So I've got some more Copic multi-liners in here. I love how this has just turned into a what's in my what's in my pencil case. More multi-liners. Half of these are probably almost dead. I know this is almost dead, my pen gel brush pen. Although I do have ink that I've started dipping it into because I actually like dipping it into the ink. I think, oh wait, I've got a holiday ink pen. Don't remember which one I got that from. Let's see, I've got, oh, I've got some post-its in there. A nice post-it thing. And oh, I forgot about these. So until dawn, bookmarks that I made using watercolor and oh I actually had no this ooh, this one's not until oh this was one of my characters that I never drew again oh I love rap he was like an inventor character but you yeah, know we got my until dawn bookmarks which are awesome I'm actually really happy with how they turned out even though I drew them drew them up and pasted them I don't even know how many years ago now when did until dawn come out because <laughs> it was around that time and the white balance is really, really loving me right now. But yeah, no, those would be my favorite art supplies. So let's take this off the stand. Oh man, gotta love this. Awesome, slightly messy desk. And I just cleaned too. It looks great. One of these days is she do a workstation tour. That would be awesome. I'm sure you guys would love to see it. So yeah, that was my favorite art supplies video. Although actually, you know what, while I'm thinking of it, there is one more. This is more of a favorite craft supply. I am a sucker for paper and rubber cement. It's just a nostalgic thing because I used it so much in school. I mean, it also works very well. It's also very flexible. So for crafting, I like rubber cement and paper cement. Is rubber and paper cement technically the same thing? Because they smell exactly the same. It still has that very same nostalgic smell to it. But yeah, that is my workstation and my favorite art supplies. My favorite art supplies, not workstation tour. That's a different video that I want to make. So yeah, this was just a quick little vlog video. If you want to vote for more stuff, check out my art amino. There is a link. I, let me, I keep saying link. My art amino name is in the description. So yeah, I will see you guys later. See ya.